All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got another 3D print reveal I want to show it to you. Uh, this is the Ford sign, like you would see outside of a Ford dealership. It's going to be on a post up high, and it's going to rotate with a motor, motors that I found. Uh, we're going to put the motor onto this post right here. So the Ford sign, let me grab it. Ford sign, that's where the motor attaches to, is going to go up here and rotate. And then this is also another piece right here. That's a bottom tray that can fit underneath of it if you want. And it's, got, it's going to have two card slot holders in it that will uh, be out front. Now this, uh, my little logo here, this is the back side. And this is where the cord is actually going to come out for power. So the front side is blank. So guys, I uh, hope you're excited to see it. I'm going to put this together with you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is another 3D print video. I got an exciting one here. At least I'm excited about it, okay? Give me that, all right? Give me my joy for just a moment here as I share this with you. Now I work at a Ford dealership, so this is what I made. You see one of these outside of every Ford dealership usually. This is the uh, Ford logo sign, and this is the actual giant post. You know, I try to make it somewhat to scale. I know it uh, probably isn't, but I designed it myself with Tinkercad and uh, I'm pretty proud of it. So this is, uh, like I showed you in the intro, I believe, uh, two Ford flat logos printed out on the print bed and then a middle section here, right here. This is the uh, silky gray filament PLA and this is the blue. I'll leave the names and the product links in the description below this video in case you want to duplicate the same sign. I plan on making more makes and model of signs like this now that I've discovered that these little motors right here, these things make the magic to your sign or anything you want to rotate, any 3D print that you want to have rotating. So these are the elements here also this right here, I made after the fact to cover this up and I made it vented and a slot to put your hex wrench in there because this has got a pin in the anchor right here that you put down into the bottom of your Ford sign logo. And that pin, the, these two will mate uh, where the holes are and then you tighten up the hex screw. And then of course you got your cord. Now if you buy this motor right here, you can buy it with the cord and uh, everything you need, right? So that's what I suggest. This goes two and a half to three revolutions per minute to give it that slow speed. And now guys, I also, there's one other component. I made this as an added accessory. This is a bottom tray and the bottom tray allows you to put, it's got two uh, little gaps for uh, your business cards right here so you can set this right in here so you can make it a card holder as well I'll show you how that looks all together but these uh, blue lines that I made right here in the sign and these indentations and the white lettering this was all blue this logo but the white lettering I suggest using these markers these are paint pens so they're not just regular magic markers. They are actually paint in these pens. They're easy to use, fast, no cleanup involved. And then also this motor, I do uh, warn, it does get hot. I measured it after 10 minutes, it got up to 90 degrees in here in this plastic print. So I recommend also getting a smart switch so that it will click on and then click off after about 10 minutes or so. Uh, 
when it spots somebody coming into a room or a close up to it. So you need that switch and also a motion sensor if you don't have one in your room. All right, let's get to putting this thing together. So first of all, I made the slot up top here to fit this motor. It's a drop in motor. No need for screws or anything like that. It's got a canal that goes all the way down through the sign post down the bottom. And it only fits in one way, guys, so you know this uh, dowel is centered, the spinning dowel. And your wire will come out here. So what we'll do, if I can get a close-in shot here, this already comes pre-stripped like this. I think you have, I had to cut off the tips a little bit. They're a little bit too long. And these connectors came with it as well, the little white connector that connects onto the motor and your power cord. Uh, but what I, how I made this, I have to go in through the back side, this little hole here first, because this is the only cord that's going to be coming out of this print and showing. So it comes out into that center canal. If you can see that here, now I've got two cords coming out. And then just push down the tab on this and feed your uh, stripped end into there and then into the second one. There you have it guys. Now I would recommend using electrical tape, really tighten this up and seal it with electrical tape before you shove it back up in here is what I plan to do. I'm gonna come back in order to make this video not too long. I'm not going to do the electrical tape at the moment, but see how all this fits up in there guys. So it's all hidden and it looks like a, you know, a real lamp or something that you buy at the store afterwards fish that cord up in there then it can sit flat make sure your motors back in here cord down in there and that fits in there nice guys so next thing you want to do your cap has to go on first and see your uh, little hex allen wrench will be able to fit in that slot right there to get to your pin there that you have to tighten up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that on the back side. I'm going to line this big slot up on the back side of it where the cord comes out. And then you put this in where your uh, little tightening screw is. Slide it onto the shaft, aiming up with the hole. And you take your tool that comes with the motor and just give that a little tighten. That way it doesn't spin on the shaft. And there we have it guys. I uh, can't wait to see this again and share it with you. Look at that. It's got the cap on it, hides the motor so you, you're not looking at it down from the top. You see no motor or nothing. You don't see the shaft. It's like it's perfect in my eyes. Now I'll go ahead and plug this in, guys. Okay, now this cord that comes with the motor comes with a rocker switch as well. So there you go. Ta-da! Guys, I, I don't know, maybe because I work for Ford, I'm more excited. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like it as well. Um, I'll leave a link where you can get the uh, the STL files to print this on your 3D printer if you're interested and uh, make sure to follow my channel subscribe and everything like that I'm also on Facebook where I share some of these ahead of time 3D prints uh, because I'll be making more of these spinning type signs and gadgets in the near future I've got two printers now an Anycubic D uh, Delta printer over here to my left side maybe that would be your right side I'm not sure and I've also got the Creality 10s pro so i got two different prints i can do at once makes this kind of stuff a lot faster for me and i don't lose patience so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video to chase the feeling again let's be friends you only need what's best for you and not them
So 